Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where we are continuing our Let's Play as Isengard in the uh, Third Age Total War mod for Medieval 2 with Divide and Conquer. And last time we assaulted Edoras and we just missed it by probably like a minute. We should have probably pushed through maybe a minute quicker, which was hugely unlucky absolute nightmare basically meant that we had a pyrrhic victory against a big stack out here looks like they've got another stack there which i think they've taken out better ass right now though guinea adds hmm. guinea to me is literally just a sort of buffer a buffer zone do you know what? we'll put like an archer in there we could actually do a bit of damage with say a beast layer and a spear unit so let's do that. Now we'll send everyone we can home for retraining. Um, who were we recruiting? I mean, do you know what, Doaf? We might not want to do that. We might want to send two raiders there and three raiders maybe, and we can retrain them. We have these two raiders. You can go to Doaf. Um, also, one of you guys probably to Doaf. And then the rest, back to Isengard. We'll retrain as much as we can. Use the forts to our advantage so that we can get free upkeep. And try and rebuild our army. And see whether we can retake. Um, well, say retake. We were basically... <laughs> like, we were basically in the town square. They just had one unit left. So, let's go for a slave pit at Isengard. Derwath. Probably go for need more money. Go for a hunting lodge. That counts as farms, right? For the orcs. Boldberg, slave pit. It's just going to get us free upkeep everywhere, so that's good. And we get a ballista maker here. Oh, we got a ballista maker. Let's get us that ballista then next turn. Ooh, keep pressing end turn, but this guild thing available. Also. Yes. Let's go speak to uh, the High Elves. What is it you wish to Let's get some trade rights. This seems quite very well. What else map information for map information? This proposal is of little No. We understand. <laughs> You're crazy. Let's keep going north. Yes. Lad just reached. What did we get? 750 gold coins. Okay, we build something else. Ooh, it's juttering a bit. What can we build in Isengard for a grand? Leather tanner. Yeah, let's do that. 1,100. Yeah, they can take Guineads. Guineads is just a two-turn buffer, I guess. So we started well, and we took the risk of going for Edoras early, and yeah, we sh it's just so unfortunate. One minute, one minute difference between, you know, success or failure. But we play on, we play on. Like I don't want to, uh, you know, save scum and reload it and all that stuff. We play, this is the challenge of the game. We were ordered with a military unit, we could do with that, so let's go to the remnants of Angmar. Without question, my lord. It's independent. At once. Continuing tomorrow. Hunting hut, yep, nice one. Bregnas, get the grain exchange. We need to keep making our economy stronger to support our troops. Ilknaz is good, it looks like. Might get all you guys back. We have a lot of free upkeep in Isengard. It's kind of crazy, really. Problem here, though, is it's only one unit trained per turn, so it's going to take a little bit of time. Do you know what? Two turns for the slave pit. That makes three recruitment slots. Let's go. Let's do that. Um, yep, you guys are in there. What do we have? Who are we able to retrain? Get the pikes. It's everyone we can retrain right now. We're going to have to retrain everyone next turn. Right, who? Uh, who's not getting free Get upkeep? Is there any full units in here, like the berserkers and that, that can go in the fort? Uh... Probably Ilkhanaz as well. 
So yeah, we've got full up, full up, uh, free upkeep for the rest of these guys. Should be making some money then next turn. Brilliant. Now Guineads, of course you, we enemy. will fight it on the battle map, but. Hmm. Like we're gonna lose. Now you're the prince. I mean, we've been killing like Rohan body generals for fun. So maybe we can do a regicide. I mean, obviously that's a bit cheap. Um, but if we do it by accident, I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna actively go for it. Obviously, every general we fight, we're gonna try and kill. So um, they've got a load of got a load of battery rams. Looks like they're just going for the gate. I mean, that's actually perfect for us. If you just want to go for the gate, like, that's perfect. We'll get these guys here. So we'll go here. <laughs> they can fire over, hopefully, fire over the wall. They're also spearmen in their spare time when they're not shooting their arrows, so that's good. It would be funny if. Uh, Get their, their firing straight away. Uh, kill the Rowan bodyguards, please. We can. I mean, there's no chance we're going to win this, but let's just kill as many as we can. Actually, we're not going to kill the bodyguards, so fire on like the row here or something. Get as many arrows as we can away. Rohirrim are the, probably the most valuable the target there. The Not the peasant militia. Obviously, apart from the old uh, uh, Rohan bodyguards, but we're not going to kill them. Like, it's very, very unlikely. Get that skillet arm. Killed. 4% like nothing. The feat seems almost certain. Yeah, well, it's certain. <laughs> yes, that is good. Volleys of arrows. Killed 10%, that's fine. 10% of that army, that army's like a thousand people, so it's actually quite good. If you can get another volley off, I'd be very happy, and then we'll uh, charge in. Okay, just, just hold. Get your spears out, boys. Yep, spears. You didn't expect that, did you, fools? I mean, it'd be funny if we did take him down. Nice. Yeah, five minutes to do that. Look at this Roman bodyguard, those. It is actually. Oh, they broke. Should have got them inside the square, but killed 120. That's fine. It's not ideal, but it's it's fine. 120 troops that they probably can't retrain at Guineyard, so reasonably happy with that. It's fine. Um, also, we are kind of on the defensive now. I would prefer them to come out of Guineyard and attack Foldberg, and then we'd be able to attack Foldberg in a turn and kill them on the field. I don't want to have to do... I mean... A siege battle actually at Gilead is, yeah, to be fair, it is easy because of that square being right next to the thing and then the AI wanting to run out and attack attack you all the time, so. But yeah, we'll uh we're gonna get a lot of money next turn, so we're gonna we're gonna recruit as much as we can. Then let's go take retake Guineard and straight on to Edoras. If we can get a full stack. Plus, like a couple of extra troops, like in reserve, waiting to, uh, waiting to come and uh, attack or rejoin the army. We'll be good. We'll be really good. Um, yeah, I know uh, last episode was very long, but it, it just kept going. That that battle, that last battle, took forever. Uh, obviously, the battle of the siege of Edoras probably should have stopped after the siege of Edoras, but I wanted to carry on going. Just wanted to keep on playing. The all thanks sentries retrained. Now what can we, we can recruit some raiders here. Retrain some more of those. What can we recruit though? Yes, pikes. Get us some more of those. 
Why can't we retrain? Oh, there, there are archers, not raiders. Um, how many horsemen? We do have two horsemen. We're retraining that other horseman. Um, Clan Spearmen are trash, but you know they're okay. Like <laughs> we just need troops. We've got good troops there. Good troops there. We will have a good army soon, I think. Two more turns, probably. Yeah, two more turns. We'll get some more Orthanc Sentry, just in case. They are good in defensive sieges, so that'll be fine. Now, what do we want to build here? Probably... Probably the Warg Breeder. Get some Wargs. I don't think we're going to be able to afford anything. I mean, the Leather Tanner makes money, so... Let's do it, I guess. They're going to go after Hornberg. They don't have a ballista or anything, do they? No. That's fine. We'll, we'll come and defend the Hornberg. That's, that's absolutely fine. Take that now. Cool. Um... Anything else we want to do? I don't think so. We could spend that money on a uh, on a leather tanner, but I'm not really sure it's worth it. Okay, we'll do it on an Iser run. Let's end the turn then. Ah, we should have. Uh, Hope then we get a free. Uh, okay, they're after Fol they're after Folberg rather than the Hornberg. That's good for me. And they've moved their big army out of Guineard. Great news. One thing with the ballista is it makes your movement points a lot less. So. Oh well, it's fine. Swap into blue again. Might be last one then. I remember 43 and 12. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Right, so let's speak to Angmar. A proposition for us. Go for the alliance, maybe. No, we will not agree to anything you know what? like this. So we had about five k, I think. Uh, let's do it, and then let's cancel Excellent. it as uh, <laughs> as normal. That's hard. This was a waste of time. So maybe we did. Maybe we did give them, but. Gave us some good landing horsemen. They're not worth 1,300, but oh well. Let's you can get an armor upgrade. Let's get some raiders. Mm, maybe some reavers. I mean, they're not. I've not really got any so far because they're pretty shite. But we'll try. We just need as much troops as we can muster right now. Okay, we'll send out an army with Saruman to take down these guys. Aelwulf. It will be an honor defeating you. Rohan bodyguards as usual. It's improved. Okay, we've got a walk breed in the Hornberg, but uh, don't quite have enough. Need to get that. Get that going then. Durwath slave pit. Right, let's. Saruman. Get there. Can you retrain anyone else? No, not you. Not quite. So, we've got two raiders and an archer here. Get in there. Right, what do we want? Is, what the, is the big question, first of all. Like, <laughs> we need archers first. So, do you want Lurks? I think we'll take Ugluk and we'll send Lurts with his own army. So Ugluk get in there. And now we'll go, let's go for archers. Come on, right, we'll have to go here, here because he can't quite reach archers. Do they have 
get it out of siege equipment yet. Wait a turn. He seized it last turn. Uh, get right, ready okay. for fighting. Get rid of you, actually. We only want people who can join this battle. Actually, they actually ran away. That's embarrassing, isn't it? Um, I've got a load of raiders and stuff there. Archers here. So, one. We already have one over there that we want to sort out. Two. We don't have many archers, so that's... Uh, Get there then. Two, three. Then we'll have one of these guys will be retrained. 55, yep. Yeah. That'd be good. Four. Right, we'll have four. That's all good. So, next thing we want is probably. Mm, okay, we've got some Orphan sentries. Getting some more. They can go with alerts. So we'll get the Orphan sentries. Also, can the blister reach? Yeah. Actually, the blister goes as far as the infantry. That's fine. So we do have... We've got four units of archers now, which is fine. As well as a lovely blister. Get the pikes. These are incredibly important. Against the uh, Rohan, definitely. We've got one spear guard. I can't wait till I can retrain the other spear guard. Because they are good. Especially against horses. Spear guard... Any more spear guard? No, but we've got lots of raiders. Two more raiders that can uh, come here. And there, so that's three units there. Get ready for fighting. Bane guard, and then some horse. Bane guard, then some berserkers, and some horses. In there and then yeah then we'll have three more so it's practically you're two off a full stack that's going to be taking the hornberg i think we send these guys straight to edoras and send alerts with a new army to guineaid that's how we're going to do it this music's a bit bloody freaky what the hell yeah, of course they're attacking the Hornberg. We'll uh, we'll move that Rohan army out of the way so that they're locked, uh, locked in position so they can't move, and then we'll attack that Hornberg army. Don't want to lose the Hornberg. Not after it was such a bloody battle to take it. Worst thing about the Edoras battle was that we didn't heal any troops because we it te technically counted as a loss. Um, but yeah, not ideal. Eyes and run leather tanner. Yeah, we've not got a lot of money now because of uh, <laughs> training all those troops. Nice to be able to retrain some of those archers. No sleeping here. Alright, you. No sleeping here. Attack. Yep, you're you're gonna push them into that Get position. Ready for fighting. Get you guys ready to join up next turn. Oh, we've got some Bane Garden horses here as well. You know what? I think alerts. No sleeping here. Get alerts in Falberg. Uh, we got and the rest of these guys are all need retraining. So, alerts has got a half stack. Lurtz could do some serious damage with a half stack with his berserkers. I think that's ideal what we want to go for. We've also got these guys who can join. Objective complete. Oh, you are all okay. They got royal guard. That's that's painful. But we'll get our uh, yeah, these we'll get our just spearmen in the front line. Three units of spearmen spread across the front line. Archers firing in the back. Should be good. Ishtarak. We'll, jo we'll join some troops from Hornberg into this army as well. Maybe the Orakai infantry. I mean, they, as I said, when we used them in the... F was it the first episode or second episode? Like, they need to be used. Like, they're not... No point in them sitting around doing nothing. Um, which is what I've had them been doing. We've not even started yet, bro. The, look at this map. Wow. 
Hornberg in the background. Great Saruman. And we've recovered a lot from Saruman. Ballista. Go to the side. What did he say? Bring me orcs to skewer. But we are the orcs. Two lots of berserkers on one side to flank. And then uh, we'll put all the horsemen on this side because they don't have any protection. Yeah, I'll just shoot them. Like I don't <laughs> I'm happy with that. It's funny how they're coming from that. S oh, wait, no, no, no. That is the right side. But Coming from like over here rather than like the actual Hornberg. It'd be cool if they actually ran out the Hornberg. Do you know what I mean? Guys, all fire at will. Have you fired yet? I'll put flaming arrows on because. Fire, boys. These guys. I don't know what you're firing at, but it's not great. <laughs> Come on, charge into them. That is ideal. Zerkers really could do with not getting shot. Come on, you've got to hit them. You're shocking. What are you doing? Bloody hell, that's an awful misses. They've lost a lot of troops though with those shotgun bolts. I guess that's where Saruman comes into uh, his own. get them once they've uh, charged. Come on then. That's the Royal Guard. Hmm. Can you shoot the Royal Guard? I think we get this, the Bane Guard in there. Come on boys. Spear Guard, they need to they need to take out some of these Royal Guard. This is a cluster fuck. Get out, boys. Can and then we'll charge again. Once they've engaged the berserkers. Are you firing or what? Doesn't look like you are. Kill those royal guard, please. So we will get a good charge in on these guys now. The Royal Guard, how are they do? They're down to half troops. Good. Do we break them? No. Get into these guys then. Nice boys, charge! I know you are not the same as these guys in terms of quality. Only half the enemy force remains. You'll make a difference, I promise you. Oh! Oh! Skimmed his feet! Surely that. Okay, you can charge my archers like. Fine. Fine. Fine! Okay? Fine. Get to those robot bodyguard if we can. Come on, guys, run! Come on! You idiots! See, this is a bit of a... Bit of an important situation, you fools. Broken. They broke against the archers. That's really embarrassing. Let's get a charge into the uh, these guys. They killed all the Royal Guard. Get back. We didn't actually lose that many archers from that. That's brilliant. Is that all the Royal Guard gone? Rohan. Rohan bodyguards. Right, berserkers. Rohirrim archers. Where's old Saruman? How many have we killed? 76. How is that missing? Oof! 
That was almost horrendous. Almost. How the dumb man is doing. Who are you? Tell him how to pirate them. Pirate them if you can. Come on, horsemen. Need to go and mop up some of these troops to make sure this army gets destroyed once we've killed her. Uh, actually, we'll send you up to mop up. Is it just peasant militia? What else? Uh, we need to get 85%. Oh, 88, but we need to kill the general. Have we killed the general? Hope we're faster than those. We should be faster than those Rohan bodyguards. Definitely. Get after them. Apart from you, can go after these guys. There we are. Another Rohan family member dead. They thought they'd uh, taken us. They thought they'd uh, beaten us. Beaten us back. But we are victorious. Hmm. The Bane Guard getting a bit destroyed, but then again, they were up against the Royal Guard, who are beasts. So, that's no problem. But we've got another unit of Berserkers in here now, like a, just a standard unit, which is brilliant. You know, they're powerful, strong beasts, really. Um. So, yeah. But killed that army we killed another family member i don't know how many family members they got left but obviously they got theoden kind of scary but apart from that like who else do they have executed them nice one get alerts to go for guinea head we'll get these guys go for uh thingy we need more archers, ideally, in this army. So, archers. We need more archers, and then maybe go for raiders. Pick your feet up. Get ready for fight. Get ready for fighting. Or I hope I don't get attacked it. there. No sleeping here. Okay. Retrain. We can't retrain. Can we recruit? Or retrain? Nope. Fine, have we got any we can build something in Eisen Run? Grog Hut? Mm -hmm. I'd rather save some money. What we got in Foldberg we could build. The encamp guard, that would be ideal. Did we manage to get that spy eventually? Is this not No. I think we did we not get a butchery somewhere else? Okay, it's gonna gonna recruit there. I don't know why it won't recruit in Doha. Maybe we need a certain amount of uh, culture. I wouldn't say though. Practice range. We're gonna have to get that in Foldberg so we can start recruiting archers there as well. Awesome. These guys all need. A Once those guys are retrained, there. That's a pretty strong army, to be fair. And Lurts will march out towards Guinead. If we come up against a big army, we will retreat with them. But the most important thing is just getting a. Uh, Saruman to Edoras once again. Very good. Yeah, it's going all right. Um, we need to just keep going and kill those. Uh, kill the pesky Rohan. It's just their bodyguards, like uh, the Rohirrim. Like obviously we have pikes, but we don't have a huge number of them at the minute. Like it'd be nice if we had a few more. Wow, looks like. Get ready for fighting. Uh, no sleeping here. Looks like we can just kill them all. Assault Edoras. Why are you not able to do that, you idiot? That is annoying. Get an Ukok up there. He better not get attacked. If he gets attacked, that's bollocks. That is absolute bollocks if he gets attacked. Okay. They don't have a huge amount of troops around here. They've got this one big army. And that's it. But they'll probably come and attack us, I'm guessing. But those air red lances. Like they don't have a much here. Also, it makes it easier for us because 
we don't have uh, the defenders attacking us. So we might even be able to take it if they attack there. I'd rather do that than the bloody old Edoras situation. Right, Lurts. How many troops can we muster? It's actually not many, is it? Yeah, it's Lurts, a Bane Guard, these two, and these two. So, be three melee. Uh, I think we need a couple more troops. If we could re retrain any of these guys, that would be massively helpful. No more units. Yeah, it's all no more units. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll get Lurts going next next turn, I think. Don't need to retrain this guy because uh, he's just a, a guard. Also, we don't have enough. Uh, have enough. We don't want to train in Eisenman really. His population's too low. <sighs> Clan spearmen. They could fill the ranks. I mean, they are spearmen. We'll get one. Right, let's end the turn. Oh, right, we, f we ambush them. Like, there's no chance we win that though, but surely we can withdraw like further than where they like I'm sorry, but that is fucking bollocks. Like they were hidden. How does the like why would the AI walk here? They would walk down the roads. Like why would they walk up into the hills? So they obviously know where we are, cheating bastards. Yeah, we re retreat and it does nothing. So there's no right. So what we know, there's no point in retreating anymore because it's just stupid. When you're doing an ambush, that is so dumb, so dumb. Like the AI obviously just knows you're there. Right, we're getting on top of this hill. Then I don't give a fuck, stupid pricks. Shoot down at them if we can. They might be across there though. That's one issue. How could you not fire up over These rocks should break up their charges. The rest of their army is going to have to come this way. Peasant scouts should be Rohirrim -Hero archers. Or the Rohirrim if you can. They're going to charge us, but I'm uh, not too bothered by that. Rather them charge us than... Might actually do all right against these Rohirrim. No, it doesn't look like it. I'm getting shredded. Every single one one Rohirrim we kill, though, is worth probably two or three of these raiders. That I, I'm sorry, but that them knowing where where our army is is bollocks when it's hidden in the trees in the side of a mountain where we literally like. There's no reason to go there. Like, there's no reason for that Rohan army to go there at all, apart from it, unless it knows that we're there, which it was hidden. So, shoot those peasant scouts if you can. Uh, what about these peasant militia? They're, like, there are their infantry is shoddy. Obviously, we're not going to win. I kind of want these guys to break, really. Can you withdraw? No. How do you, how do you do that? Do the, the long withdraw where you withdraw? Like, is there a certain parameter you have to hit? Peasant scouts going for my uh, archers. They did an all right job there, to be fair. Get into them. Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Rohirrim, oh dear, we're getting surrounded. Should have, I did want to be able to uh, shoot my arrows for as long as possible. We are fully surrounded now. Probably going to lose these troops. Oh, that is just dumb. That is just ridiculously stupid. I don't want to rally. I want them to. I want them to uh, to go. So that we can kind of try and save a few. Yeah, there we are. Okay, there we are. Yeah, 
57 minute, that's definitely not enough. They did inflict a lot of casualties. Oh well. <sighs> so dumb. That's quite a cool quote. Men need many words before deeds. My axe is restless in my hands. Well, we just know not to put any troops just in the <laughs> in the forest anymore because uh, the Rohan army may accidentally stumble past it. Dumb. I mean, I wish we could accept the calm. Oh, that's destroyed. Oh! I mean, Rohan taking its big army away. <laughs> That's good of them. I mean, that just means... Okay, yeah, we've got a Ballista, haven't we? Yes, Edoras will fall in one turn. We don't need to play wait. We do need more archers, though, for the defense of Edoras, really. Although we do have two units of pikemen. If we just don't use those pikemen in the assault, that would be good. I hope there's no general in here. Is there a general? Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. Send an emergency to you, the Anduin Vale. Bloody hell, boy. How do you think I'm going to get there? At your service, my lady. We'll go to the Snow Orcs. Yes. I don't care. Stop in here. What was it for? 750 gold coins. That could actually be pretty useful right now. Um, do I want some raiders? Rather retrain some of these guys. Beast layers don't really want. Yes. Rather retrain these guys. Once those guys are retrained, we'll get them in Lurtz's army, and Lurtz can go forward, I think. That's definitely weak in that army. Elfhelm. That's a cool name. He's definite Rohan people, isn't he? Okay, you're not able to go. Raiders, Vanguard. Kill him like while he's out there by himself. He's just a general, though. So he's not like, yeah, we'll leave it, we'll leave him. But for, for now, let's Get kill there. Uh, yeah, got that one. No. Ah, oh, they have the army behind. Hmm. Don't know whether we'll be able to. If we go in the left corner and go cut that army off, I think that's what we're going to have to do. What is in the second army? Farmhand pikemen, peasant militia. Yeah, it's a pretty trashy second army. Let's let's go and batter them with our melee troops and our horses. Uh, Ugluk can lead that while uh, Saruman leads the assault on Edoras. Let's do it, boys. Let's go. Let's go. The second assault on Edoras. Hmm. This time we better not run out of time. Good God. That would be horrendous. But good job is, I think they will come in from like this corner. So if we send troops around there, we should be good. We need to get you as close as possible. Saruman, my friend. We will leave, we'll leave, we'll leave a unit of berserkers around here. They're not going to be that useful against cavalry anyway. Right, so all you guys can be grouped up. Wait, and you two can be grouped up. Uh, do you know what? We'll send one unit with uh, these guys. Get over here. We'll use our horses to harass them so they can't get into the city to start with. That's the second group. You can get in that group. I mean, first things first, let's come forward. Second thing is getting around. I mean, they're going to try and come through this gate, so uh, good luck, boys, getting through that gate. We'll just defend the gate. That's what we like to do, as uh Yeah, we're just gonna end the gate. Good luck, boys. Good luck, lads. 
these guys. We should have left one more infantry, really. Uh, but I guess we'll use that pikes and then these guys. I want you to run. Yeah, they're just they're not going to be able to get into the city. That's good for us. It is primarily trash. This is another gate. I don't think there is. Uh, it's definitely not another gate. So. Yep, good luck, boys. We've got to be wary of time again, obviously. Unlike last time. Looks like they might be coming for us around this side, you know. Is that going to separate some of their horses? Let's get around here. Also... How are we going to defend this then? They want to charge at our troops. I am not too averse to that. I would like them to not charge my berserkers though. Shoot the gate, yeah. Um, I think we send probably you two back around to here if you can. Oh, look. You know what? Ugluck, you can come around as well. We'll leave a Bane Guard and then go those Farman Pike, not Farman Pikemen, Dunlending Pikes around this side. Come on, boys. Position. Whatever, you can throw your things at them. I'm, I'm happy with that. Yes, Pikeman. Pikeman. Like, yeah, it does look like they are just running around this way. So, show up, you guys run around here. Then, if we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I'm happy they've decided to do that because it's mental. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, horses, yeah, horses, doing horses, kill those peasant scouts. Come on. Yes. That's one of the generals down anyway. Gonna break? No, they're wavering. That's fine by me though. Just so glad that they uh, uh they don't have Rohan bodyguards anymore. Should be able to push through quite nicely. Uh, would be nice if we could assault them from both sides. But. Sixty percent. Who are you? Hasn't scouts? I think they might be charging us as well. Get in there. Well, charge him. Ain't gonna do much. All fact sentries will be able to take it. <laughs> oh, guys, get in there. <gasps> get there. How are you missing? You're literally about four centimeters away. How are you, Rohirrim? How are we doing down here, guys? Um, no, that's our troops. What are you fighting? Get out of there. Your job is just to harry them until uh, until we can uh, get there. Right now, fire! You should not be able to. You should not be missing now. Fine. We just need one unit of pikemen to survive, really. Come on, fire! 
you run out of ammo, I'm going to be fuming. <laughs> Militia elsewhere. There we are, just about. If you'd have run out of ammo, we would have been absolutely fuming. We've got to be careful, wary of the time as we went last time. Um, you can get in position. Go, go, go. Then we'll get you guys. In here, spear guard in here. These farm and pikes can come here. Bane guard and raiders will sit you back for now, anyway. Um, yeah, you're just you're gonna die, but obviously, I'm not gonna be able to. Uh, this farm and pikemen. Should be able to destroy them with our leave ugly up to deal with them. You guys just go. Oh yeah, berserkers. Get our berserkers up here ready to go as well. Ugluk, you can deal with these farm and pikes. Um, and what about these Bane Guard? We are sending them in, aren't we? Horseman here. Get everyone in there if you can. They're firing at uh, Saruman. This time we will not be beaten, boys. Get in there. Come on, you slugs. say I thought uh, I thought this on the map this was this and I was like oh god the ballista what have we done to it so oh well get up there we're gonna push we're just gonna push this time Push, push, push. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. And then we've got the. Uh, who's in there? Is it? I thought we had berserkers in here as well. Berserkers get behind. Got all these guys, they're firing outside. Okay, farm and pikes, that's what's going on, isn't it? You guys are all ready to go. Up there. Just get your pikes out, boys. Uh, fight at the fire at the Westrom defenders. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We need to kill those pikes. They will actually do some damage to uh, Ugluk. I know they they look trash, but pikes in this game, it's like so. From what I've like read and, and heard, I think pikes are like a, practically two hits for everyone. Ah, oh, yes, get after them. to help out. Send Ugluk up. Actually, 
Fire at the row here. Right, just fire into this mass if you can. It's a massive, massive people. It shouldn't be hard to miss. 9% to 33%. Pretty happy with that. Alright, look, look. Let's get you up here, bro. Who's this then? A oh, peasant militia. Look, look, you have one more job. Kill some more peasants. I'm sure you would enjoy that. If we continue like this, we will smash the Empire. I'm gonna send Yep, yeah, okay. They've gone now. Ballista? Good. Get out here, boys. Come towards the berserkers. They should be fully, fully, fully ruined. Alright, there we are. Now, ugh, look. Let's get you up here, bro. Ugh, look. Get ugh, look up. Let's get... Get both our berserker units ready to fight, and the Bane Guard. Get the berserkers up here as well. Uh, actually, prefer to use Ugluk because he re replenishes. So, okay, I think we're we're going to be okay for time this time. <laughs> I mean, I hope. Work tied. Come on, Ugluk. There's not much else I can do here. It's just grind fest time. Like they have probably 300 troops left. 300, 400. We just gotta kill them in the time. These peasant scouts should be getting absolutely destroyed by the uh, pipe win. Oh yes, get all your horsemen into here. We'll kill them all gladly. It's an absolute clusterfuck right now. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Grind fast, boys. There we are. Perfect. There, uh, general, right? Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> These pikes are just brutal. Come on, boys. 1874. Come on. We do have time left, so it's going to be fine. I hope Ugluk doesn't die. This is a good lad. I like Ugluk. No, Ugluk! <laughs> right, well, you guys just get in there. Just do what you want. Ugluk has died. I cannot believe it. Well, we have a good name for Edoras then now. Ugluk's rest. We will remember him for charging up the hill of Edoras. Oh my days, look at the bodies. Among there is Edera We will find Ugluk. He may look indistinguishable from all the marks and scars from fighting such a brutal battle. But we will find him. Wow, these axemen are getting chopped to pieces. Uh, we should probably get these guys like fight against the scouts. Grind fest. Right, we we do have plenty in army left to beat an. Uh, the, uh, full stack here. We've got two units of pikemen that should be able to just hold off anyone, really. Um, and we have a few archers, so we should be good. Look at that, 257, 1600 kills. Now, Berserk. Oh, oh, look. Look at that. 500. We will definitely be renaming this settlement after you, oh, look. 
after your fantastic, unbelievable effort. I guess some of them were people routing, but we will we will we will name it of milk. What do we say? Uh, Ugluk guard, Isengard, Ugluk, Amon, Ugluk. No, we don't want uh, elf names. I wonder what like city in Black Speech is because we could could do that. Um, hmm. Yes, maybe. Well, we'll call it Ugluk's Rest for now. No, please, my lord, reconsider. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please, me lord. This is revenge. Do you not understand the word fool? Sauruman. We've destroyed the enemy. Hope we've got some watchtowers in this land. I mean, it's, it's... We'll sack it. It's a huge city already, so we can't upgrade it. So population doesn't matter, but I like that. Those coins. <laughs> Chicken farming, we don't need that. I think that's the only thing that's probably going to be uh, the old staples. Oh, yeah. Doesn't do anything for us. Cavern, Town Guard, War of Marauders, the Meduseld. Bet that gives some Rohan some good, uh, nice little buffs. Okay, finally, Adaras is under our control. Melkor's shadow is only 2%. But it is no longer Adaras, of course. Ugluk, this is to you, my friend. Ugluk's rest. There we are. Ugluk's rest. We reward our Urukai that fight nobly. Pillagery of Edoras, no effect. <laughs> I think that might be a doom sack. Uh, I'm not 100% certain. Obviously, we really need to get, really, really need to get um, moving with these guys. Get moving with these guys. Uh, can we train any more in Durwath? We can train another raider. Let's get that. That's five. Foldberg. We need some barracks and stuff in Foldberg as well, don't we? How about Hornberg? Are you able to train yet? No. It's taking a while to get that population that uh, culture up but with that next one we will have a good uh, good little upgrade do those Urukai infantry do we have much movement points yes we do let's get to uh, objective ah uh, too little oh Jesus Saruman what have I done that was incredibly dumb we can actually attack us we will be able to withdraw though and I hope we can withdraw to Ugluk's rest now, if a Doomsack does spawn, I think we'll be able to defend. Um, is there anything else we want to do this turn? I don't think so. We'll end the turn then. Yeah, there's no Honor Drith. We'll get invaded by the Ents at some point as well. I forgot about that. Um, is that like turn 30 or something like that? I can't remember. But... Even if we lose Isengard to that, we'll just send an army back. We'll be fine. Like, it's not going to be a huge issue, I don't think, the Ents. Um, I want to see where this ring is. Oh, we forgot to do the Fog of War. Right, well, we'll do it now. And just pretend we did it. We'll do this. We'll do uh, do it to end uh, the episode. Oh, it's at Lothlorien. Right, then. That's actually really good for us. Isengard Brawlers Pit will get that at the end. Edoras has fallen. Yep. It's kept by a general in Karas Galathon. Hmm. Seems far. It's probably worth it, though. Like, genuinely probably worth it. It's not enough Melkor's shadow still. There's the uh, to say to you, There's Scott. the Doomstack. I think we have Saruman. I think we'll be able to defend that. They're gonna go after Edoras, aren't they? Ooh, we were number one in something. It might be a production. We 
retrain. Oh, we can retrain Vanguard. Awesome. Um, we need to put an army together. Can we beat Rohan with two armies, with one army? Don't think so. And with the Doom stacks, I think. Yeah, I still think we need an army to take Giniad and Anadrith, and then we might look at going to get the ring. It's gonna be tough though with the end invasion as well. Like it's gonna be really tight. Come on! And, uh, who are you? I am a warrior. Independent not army. That's not great. I don't want to have to deal with you. Got another one of these guys though. Get ready for fighting. Who you can stay in Ugluxresk Nakra. Yeah, you're Auric High Bodyguard, so you're really good defensively. So that's good. Not Berserkers, unlike Ugluk or Lurts, unfortunately, but no worries. It's not your fault, bro. Come and get me. Right, let's toggle the Fog of War then, because we forgot to do it on 20 turns. I'm sure plenty of you have been putting in the uh, comments. But let's do it. Alright. So this is looking through the Palantir. We'll just pretend we did it on 20, and we'll do it on 40 again, if I remember. So Rohan doesn't have a huge amount of land left. They've got Oldberg. They've got the Doomstack. I mean, apart from that, the, the troops they have, not too many. Ah, I really want to go for Karas Galathon. I just don't... They, it will it will trigger a Doomstack. Now, we could go and take it and then just retreat. And that would probably be the best option. To go and take it, raise Karas Galathon, delete all their buildings, take all their money and leave. And I think that's probably what we're going to do if we do go for it. Um, in terms of... So, yeah. So, Rohan really doesn't have that much left we'll be able to roll over them uh, obviously they're going to get another doom stack i think does Rohan get three or two doom stacks i can't quite remember i think it's three but this is one once we've beaten me. that one Not we've only got one more to do haven't we one more to beat uh this army with the two lots of pikes the spears the archers i mean the ballista i think we'll do a good job on them now Oh, that's Gondor, not Rebels. Gondor's neutral. About, eh? Hi, Gondor. Why would you do Why this? <laughs> two actual, your... quite two reasonably big armies. Tired of ordering your own forces about, Let's might eh? have to march against them. Unless, once we've beaten that Doomstack, we can come this way and take Guinead. Um, just need more troops. That's the big problem at the minute. Some Reavers, they are shocking, but it's okay. Uh, what do we want to build then? We build a Grog Hut here, get the population growth going. Actually, nope. We built that in Hornburg, we need something back else in Hornburg, I think. Get a slave quarters, we can get free upkeeps and, uh, and recruit some units when they get above 33, which should be next turn. That'd be good. And then Foldberg, no Eisenrun. Don't want to build anything in Doaf just yet. <laughs> did, it, did, did they have Ballista Towers at Doaf? I can't quite remember. If we re retrain that, we should be able to take a few of them down while we uh, while we fight this. Right, so how's Gondor doing? They still haven't got Theragrondos, so not brilliant. Uh, they, they, they're concentrating on us. And we are neutral rather than the others. Dolanroth is fine. They are not really under much pressure yet. Apart from the Art Ardenator, why? Okay, looks like they've just taken that. Um, hmm. Art Ardenheim aren't doing a huge amount. Harad. Harad looks fine, to be honest, but they need to come and take this so they can get some Muma kill. Um, but yeah, they, they look fine. Like They don't look like they're doing bad. The Variags of Kanda are doing as usual. Easterlings of Rune are actually. They're going to have a tough job. They've not even taken Lest yet. So they're going to have a really, really, really tough job fighting um, the uh, Darwinian, Vale of Darwinian and the um, Vale. And Dale, sorry. Dale, uh, they, they're fine. They're doing fine. And the Dwarves of Erebor. However, let's have a look. How are they doing? Yes, the Snow Orcs. If Danes Hall, the Snow Orcs are in a strong position. They can push the uh, Anduin Vale mm. south. That would be unreal. 
Okay, that's a big orc army. The, the orc, sorry. <laughs> Dwarf army, excuse me. Dolgador is doing well. Pushed all the way up to Arendolan. Now, you need to take Thranduil's halls for me. Dolgador, I'll be very happy with that. They could do... Yeah, they do have an army out here. They could do with fighting these guys a little bit more. Uh, Goblins of Moria. Yes, doing well. They always do quite well. Oh, my days. You Don't tell me you're going to try and win that against Gildor and Glorian. It's a lovely Calaquendi Lords unit, which... I mean, all the Yelven units are, are very good, but... <laughs> you, want. Uh, you know, the Calaquendi Lords... All those, the Galathrim, Galathrim archers, all that is, is unreal. Now, Angmar is going for Kamath Bryn, so if Angmar wants to take him Labdrush, that would be brilliant for us. I'd like Khazad Doom to be where. I'd like to take Khazad Doom at some point. Get that money going. Everywhere else, like Enidwaith. Enidwaith, they haven't really been expanding too much. Like. Suduri, they could do with taking that. Okay, High Elves. Buzradum. Dwarves of Eridloon have done nothing, as usual. Wait for Angmar to take take them. Um, Bree is mm, fine. Pro problem is, up here, there's actually not that much faction on faction fighting because there's so many rebel settlements left. Like, look at Angmar. Like, Angmar needs to be pushing to Deadman's Dyke. Um, and all that sort of stuff, and the Numenas, but they're not really, uh, no one's really pushing, pushing those guys. Now, how's Mordor doing against Gondor? Not even taking Osgiliath yet. They've got a lot of armies. That's a little Mordor fort. It's got Nazgul in. You should be able to beat them, Nazgul. Which Nazgul? Sagar. Sagar, you should be able to beat them. Come on. But apart from that, they're, they're I mean, I guess they're doing fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> as long as they don't get pushed back to Minas Morgul, then they're doing okay. Bringing, Gondor's bringing lots of troops this way. Hopefully that will mean that they leave off from us for a second. Because I really don't want to have to deal with three fronts in the war. Uh, but yeah, so I think that'll be it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you again on the next video. Please remember, do subscribe, do like the video if you are um, interested in carrying on seeing these videos. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I should see you again soon.